Mm. By the way, I recently decided I want the Leafs to get Timo Meyer. I think you're just, yeah, just th- throwing it up on the wall. Oh, I am. You're right with Montembeau more than Meyer. Meyer, I think, is a legit difference maker. See, Mont- Meyer's in the Bo Horvat family, is he not? He, I, I think he's better. I think he's more valuable probably than Horvat. He is. Today. He's got he's got that big qualifying offer, but I'm wondering if it's like Cock and the Emmy where you can say, we'll give you a longer-term deal if you'll sign for less. He was chucking him yesterday with... This fight! With, with Connor In the Clifton. National League. Yeah, he was going yesterday, and he held his own. I was surprised. He's bigger than I thought he was. He is. He's, he's 6'1", and 200 or something. How do you envision the Leafs getting him? With big assets? In terms of assets, I can see it, but I just can't see it fitting in the future. So I don't know, Nick. But I want him to be a Leaf. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> to me, yeah, he's such a perfect fit for the Leafs right now in terms that you. it's kind of one of those things that you're going all in on this run. I think he and then leads you fig- the NHL in shots. Or he, last I checked, he was top three anyway. Kind of figure it out after kind of thing at this point. Is that a crazy thought, Kipper? Are you looking at me like a... It's not a crazy thought, but I don't think it's a realistic thought right now. He's first in the NHL in shots, tied with Pasternak, 219. Like you're talking about, uh, well, first of all, you you ever even dream of being in the conversation? We know that you have to give up Matthew Nyes. Mm -hmm. You know that. Yes. Okay. And I don't, are you guys there? No problem? Yep, done deal. Good, good, gone. Well, See ya. listen, I, I've looked at the... He's far enough away that I don't have to worry about him that much. My boy Anthony Petrelli on Maple Leaf Hot Stove wrote about some of the guys who came out of college and the success they had their first year out of college, yeah. the impact that they were able to have. And unless your name is basically Kale McCarr, the impact is almost non-existent for most of these guys. Maybe some power play points. But, you know, like, it, it really is fanciful to think that Nyes is going to come in and, you know, be a point-per-game guy in the top six. So... If it's not now for the Leafs, then when? So, yeah, you kind of have to come to grips with the fact that it's there's going to be big costs here. And, you know, you need to make a move, a big move, a Timo Meyer move. I think if Matthew Knives comes in and, and can be as noticeable as um, uh, Bobby McMahon. McMahon. <laughs> yes. McMahon. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that would be successful. Me too. Me too. Yeah, you'd love to have him down there. Banging away, four checking. I agree. Bobby McMahon has uh, has got twenty shot attempts in four games for the Leafs. It's been great. And again, noticeable for me. Big can get in. He's around the puck. Great. Dryden Hunt was on waivers before that game ended yesterday. They were like, "Yeah, we like McMahon." Wow. He cleared, it's... by the way. Hallelujah. He cleared. Yeah. He cleared. Yeah. He can't just keep running it through the system. Eventually, people catch on. With Hunt. Yeah. See, I still, I still think he's an NHL player. He's, he is. Yeah. Thirteenth, fourteenth forward. Yeah. Just not twelve when your lineup's supposed to be good. Right. Yeah. No, I get that. I get that. That's uh. And the fact that uh, our just missed the All Star game by this much. Pontus uh, oh, Holmberg is back. He didn't get in, eh? He no. didn't get in. We, we didn't vote him in. That's why they won't publish the data, because he definitely did. 